Right, welcome back guys. Um, if you follow my Instagram and everything like that, you know this is going to be a huge video. Or should I say videos, because it took us a while to get this sorted, get everything out of storage. And I just realised how many cards we got to go through. So um, I'm planning on doing a couple of different parts, a couple of YouTube shorts and everything like that. Um, today, what we're just going to be going through, we're going to be going through some of the big hitters. The standard trios, obviously your Blastoise, your Venusaur, your Charizard. Um, I've got a couple of first edition cards here, a couple of Shadowless, a couple of No Rarity, just your basic rare cards. But I just want to start off and say thank you everyone, because I have officially hit 200 subscribers. So, that was terrible. But, <laughs> um, yeah, 200 subscribers, that's pretty big. I mean, how long have we been doing this? Like, what, 15, 16 days? So... That was actually terrible. I thought it would be a lot better than that. So, yeah, congratulations to me. And um, let's, get, uh, let's get straight into this because this is going to be a long video as it is. So what we've got in the back, we've got some big things in the back. We have got a sealed CD promo, which we've got two more of. Um, we've got a fourth print Pikachu and a PSA 9. We've got a Japanese Magneton base. We've got a Nairari Symbol Squirtle, Japanese. So a lot of the cards here are going to be Japanese as we do mainly collect Japanese, me and my friend. And also there will be some, obviously, English cards, so your standard first edition and stuff like that. Um, we've got this beautiful, beautiful PSA 10, Koro Koro Mew. Very hard to get in a 10. Look at that card, that is gorgeous. Also, if you didn't notice, I have got a new light. Um, I'm not gonna show you, but it's just, just a standard light. So you may see why the video is looking a bit better. In the corner, we've got a couple ancient Mew promos. Nothing that you won't see in the future. But right, let's get stuck in. I don't want this to drag on too long. It's gonna be like an hour or so of videos going through all of this, but it's gonna be good. Everyone's gonna love it, especially if you love Pokemon. Because here at Pack Bro Training Cars, we don't just deal with basketball, it's everything. So maybe do some football and stuff. Right, start off, we've got a big boy. PSA 10, no rarity symbol. Very low pop. Not very many known solds. I'm not going to go through solds of this. If you want to know the sold of a card, pause the video. eBay the card. 130 point the card. It's that simple. So, yeah. Beautiful Pikachu. We've got a few Pikachus to go through. I'm going to whack that over there. And on to the next. Right. PSA 10, Shadowless Pikachu. Another great card. Hard to get in a 10. A lot of these cards are hard to get in a 10. But they are great. And there we are. The first edition Shadowless Yellow Cheeks. So obviously these are both Yellow Cheeks. The No Rarity symbol is also Yellow Cheeks. These are like just top of the range cards. Everyone wants a Pikachu in their set. Um, I've got my fourth print one. I do collect some fourth print cards. I love fourth print. So what should we move on to now? I uh, saved the big boys for last, so let's go on to first edition. I'm going to show these at the same time. Let's go hand in hand. So we've got two PSA 10s, first edition Squirrel and Bulbasaur. Obviously, this is the first ever English Pokemon set that was ever made. And, yeah, like I said, these are from the kind of packs and boxes you'll be seeing Logan Paul opening, people like that, you know, 450 grand Charizard and stuff like that back in the day. We could call that back in the day now because... Them times have gone, really. It was a nice time, but, yeah, what we got here, we have got, uh, I'll show these two together. Actually, no, I won't, because I've just realised what that is. Um, well, I'll just go for a couple of these. Just got a couple of first editions, 9 and 10, nothing too special, just a couple of base, commons, uncommons, stuff like that. Got a nice onyx. Um... I'm going to put these, see, I've got to put these somewhere because I don't want to be throwing them about or anything. I'm going to put these in there. And then here we have a lovely first edition hollow. It is only a seven, but then again, it's still a beautiful card. A lot of people love Polyrath. I love Polyrath. So, yeah, that's a really nice card. Uh, moving on to a bit of Shadowless. Again, two really nice cards. Obviously not tens, but still really nice cards. See, like I said, I'm just going to go through some English cards at first, and then we're going to get on to some big Japanese hits. 
Oh, terrible chair. Right, let me put them away. Make sure I'm putting them in the right place. Right, let's do this. Let's start with some Venusaur. What have we got? I think we'll start with basics. The literal basics. So, boom. First Venusaur cars. Two PSA 10s, 1996, holographic. Two beautiful cards. Now, if you don't like Japanese cards, then one, you're doing it all wrong, and two, you have no respect for Pokemon because it is a Japanese like card game. But these are beautiful. I don't really want to speed too much over this video because like it just does it justice itself. But yeah. Right, what else have we got here? We got an expedition on the right and we got trainer magazine. That's a dark Venusaur on the left. So yeah, two more PSA 10s, both from 2001. Both really nice cards. I would try and adjust the light so we can get some hollow going here, but I'm not trying to do too much. I'm just trying to get through this video nice and quick. We're already at six minutes. And yeah, so. That's a big one as well. We've got another PSA 10 Venusaur there. Really nice. Right, look at that hollow. Look at that hollow. That is some big hollow blade right there. Gorgeous card. Some of these cards just don't even need explaining. I imagine if you're watching this kind of video, you know all of these cards anyway. I'd like to think you do. Oh. Big heels. Big heels. So that's a Shadowless 9. And that is a First Edition 9. Two of probably the most expensive Venusaurs that you could get, I'd say. I'd, I think you could say that. Yeah, definitely two of the most expensive Venusaurs. I'm pretty sure they price a bit higher than the Japanese ones, even though the Japanese rolled off. Because obviously a lot of collectors, you'd be surprised, are English and not Japanese. But Japan just did it better. They've just done everything better. And look, you can tell the difference on the hollow between the first edition and the shadowless. It's not much, but you can just tell. Wow. Some great cards. Some absolute great cards. You best be respecting this. So... Literally drop a like, drop a subscription because there's going to be so much more. You don't know what I've got on the bed over there. You really don't. There's a lot of promo cards. I've got some rare trainer cards. I've got some exclusive one of one kind of cards. Um, and then in the boxes, I've got everything from Wind of the Sea. So yeah, we've got a lot to go through. So it's going to be two or three videos, a lot of shorts. Uh, check out the Instagram as well. Get that up real quick. Pat.bros underscore TC. Check that out. Been posting a lot of Pokemon past couple of days. And also check it out for the latest basketball updates. And yeah, I well, nearly went on to the Charizard, but I think it's only right we leave Charizard till last. Because we've got a big juicy stack of Blastoise here. Look at that. Let's get let's go through these. I'm gonna stack them up right like that. We'll just stack them up there and bring it forward. Expedition first edition. Well, to be fair, pretty much all of these can be first edition. So we haven't got two of them. We haven't got three of them. We haven't got four of them. We haven't got five of them. We've got six of them. Six PSA 10 Japanese first edition expedition hollows. That is a mouthful. So yeah, half that stack was literally just this one card. But tell me that isn't one of the best Blastoise artwork. Did I say Venusaur? No, I definitely said Blastoise. <laughs> but yeah, so Blastoise, that is probably my favourite artwork on a Blastoise card, I'd say. Let me know what yours is down in the comments, as always. Because I always want to know people's opinions. So we've got two Dark Blastoise PSA 10s. Obviously holographic. Once again, catching the light very well. See, I'm not too sure what the best light setting is on this. I'm still working out how to use this light. Let's have a look. That's a bit more white. What are we saying? I think that catches the hollow a lot more, actually. Might have to refilm this whole video. <laughs> nah, we'll go from here. We'll use the white light. And there it is.
is a beautiful kind of reverse hollow bleed again. Lovely card. Lovely cards. Um, if you didn't know, do a quick one. My favourite Pokemon is Darkrai from the new gen. I suppose you could call it new gen or Sinnoh. So Diamond and Pearl era. I know a lot of people playing them games at the moment. But if you have to call my favourite Pokemon of all time, it's got to be Magneton. I love Magneton. Don't know why. It's my favourite from the first, the first series. It's just the best. So I'm not one of them little fanboys that follows Charizard. But we've got some big Charizards for you. So number first edition web series probably do a short on the web series so watch out for that and then we'll show these so that's just a just another english should have shown nobody english really i don't think that's not fourth print it's just base base hollow psa 9 and then we've got a vs series this is my favorite set so i'll collect this set i haven't completed it yet i am working towards it there is a couple of cards which are very expensive including the hollows so that would be the Umbreon, Raikou, just like basically the big the big boys. And yeah, this isn't hollow, but still a really nice card. And yeah, I think that's done for Blastoise now. So the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get this stack into the middle. Put that there. And if you must know. Not all of these cards are mine, and to be honest, very few of these cards are mine. They're a good friend of mine. I'll be linking his eBay down in the description. I'll be putting it possibly in the video if I can tag it up. And he doesn't list all these cards. These are a lot of his collectibles. A lot of them are in storage a lot of the time. But he does list some very great condition cards, great rare cards all the time. There's listings going up every day from like graded cards to singles to packs. So small little promo packs and stuff like that, sealed items. So I'm going to leave his Instagram and his eBay down in the description. I'll also post something on my Instagram regarding his eBay. And his eBay is the card centre. If like you're watching this kind of video, you probably already know him. He's a great friend of mine and he's a great seller. So be sure to hit him up if you ever need something or you're searching for something. So, bang. Two web series. I like Charizards, Dark Charizards, I must say. Very nice. We've got Shining Charizard. These cards just have the best swells, honestly. These reverse foils, they just have such nice swells. I'm pretty sure there's a few more of these in the pile as well. But yeah, really nice hollow on these. I'm going to put that there because I think we've got a few more of them. Right, we've got two Blaines in tens as well. Some lovely hollow going on there again. And then one of my favourite Charizards personally is the CD promo. Got that in a ten. Absolutely amazing cards. It, it, honestly, it is such a great feeling to go through a collection this good. Like I'd love to have a collection this good one day. But unfortunately, I don't. And I don't plan to on any time soon. But this is amazing. Wow. 1996. First one. PSA 10. Shadowless. PSA 7. What a card. What a card. Even in the 7th grade. So good to hold something like this. Obviously, we've got a bit of damage, but that's expected when you get a seven. Wow. So, there's another web series. There's another shining. Actually, that's not a shining. That is the Neo 2 promo reverse foil. See, these two are labeled differently. So, I'm not too sure why. Because they are the same card. But, who knows? Bang. Another one. And just to finish it off, a lovely PSA 10. 1996 again. Right. I mean, that is amazing. That is some of the best cards that I've ever held in my hands. 
I don't think I want to show too much more just here. But we are Pack Bros training cards, so it wouldn't be a video unless we open something. So I've got some Japanese promo packs. I'm pretty sure there's only one card in each one of these packs, whereas my protection box is here. I'm not looking for anything too special, it's just gonna be a fun little opening. So these are gym packs, one card per pack, uh, volume one, nine, and two. So let's go in number order. Let's start with volume one. Let's get these open. And I remember these packs because they're a nightmare to open. But honestly, I mean, this is a huge video. This is a huge video, and there's so much more to come. Uh, I'm planning on doing a video of a sealed Pokemon collection that's been worked on over the years. And let's have a look at this. Meh. Nothing too special. Mantine, Mantike. Can't remember what one it is. We'll get that in the sleeve. Like I said, these are promo cards. They are gym cards. They're nothing too special, not too valuable. But they're cool little cards. Put that down there. But yeah, like I was saying, there's going to be a sealed collection coming up soon. Um, I've got still got to go through all the promos. So... Be sure to watch out for all of that. I'll be letting people know on my Instagram when the videos drop. So follow that up. And if you want to join the Facebook group, then do that as well. There's not too many members at the moment. Oh my God, these packs. Jesus. Right, we're going to leave it here to that. No, I'm joking. Oh my days. Oh my. <clears throat> Worse than some Panini's packs, honestly. Yes. It's best, it's best to be like something special. You're just going to be like a Tepig. Tepig non hollow coming up. 3, 2, 1. Oh, yeah, standard. Yeah, little trainer. It's all right. All that for a trainer card. Brilliant. But, legend has it. These are Muhammad Ali's gloves. So, what are we going to do? We're going to top load that, send it off to Be Beckett. And yeah, pristine 10 Muhammad Ali gloves. Yes. We're going to put that in the back. Actually, we're going to put that on top of the Charizards because, I mean, it's the best card that we've shown all day. Oh, look at that. Gliding open. Doesn't happen. Does not happen. Three, two, one. What have we got? Oh, very nice. Got a GX from one. It's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, nice, oh, not too bad. Definitely get that in sleeve. But yeah, I've opened a fair few of these packs. I've never pulled a GX. I pulled a non hollow chest bin, and I said to myself, I'm never opening these packs again. <laughs> but, looks like I am. Because here at Pack Bros, we open packs. But I can't fund the packs unless people subscribe and watch my videos. So please do. Please watch them. Please. But yeah, I don't think there's really much more to say on this video. I mean, it really speaks for itself. Let's just get up a couple of these big boys. Let's get up a couple of these big boys. Let's get up a couple of these big boys. You're just going to drop these all right now. That's thumbnail material. Get that thumbnail, get that thumbnail. Oh yeah. Right, like I said, keep your eyes out on the channel and there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon videos coming up while we wait for some more basketball products to get back in. I have got a few basketball products. Um, Select's been treating us well. I've got one more hanger left. We're gonna open it because you know what we pulled in the last two hangers. If you don't know what we pulled, then I suggest you go check them videos. It's our first video and the video that is called the number 25 hit. So go watch that and go have a look who we hit because he's coming back soon. And that's the little hint if you ain't watched it. Um, nothing more to say, like, share, subscribe if you really want to. If you want to dislike it, dislike it, but that's not very nice. And Santa won't be coming. Uh, Merry Christmas everyone, speak to you soon.